Mr. Black and Mr. Dark were two peas in a pod, or maybe more like two firecrackers in a bucket. They lived in a town called Shadowville, which was pretty much as exciting as watching paint dry, except when these two got involved, they were always up to something. Mr. Black was tall and lanky, always tripping over his own feet. Mr. Dark, on the other hand, was short and stout, built like a bowling ball. He liked to think of himself as impressively compact. Despite their differences, they were the best of friends, always getting into hilarious situations. One scorching summer afternoon, they were bored out of their minds. Mr. Black was sprawled on a hammock, flipping through a comic book. Mr. Dark was juggling apples, but he kept dropping them on his head. This is hopeless, Mr. Dark groaned, rubbing his head. Even the apples are bored. Mr. Black snorted with laughter. That was Mr. Dark, all right. Always an adventure waiting to happen. Hey, I've got an idea, Mr. Black suddenly exclaimed, sitting up so quickly he almost fell out of the hammock. Remember that legend about the glowworm cave? Mr. Dark's eyes widened. The one that's supposed to be brighter than a thousand suns? Yep, that's the one, Mr. Black confirmed, a mischievous glint in his eye. Let's find it. And that's how their adventure began. It didn't take long for them to pack. Mostly snacks, to be honest. Who knew how long it would take to find a cave full of glow worms? They threw some flashlights, a compass that Mr. Dark swore he knew how to use, and a very squeaky whoopee cushion into Mr. Black's beat-up car. They were ready for anything, or so they thought. The drive was uneventful, which is to say totally normal for Mr. Black and Mr. Dark, which meant it was a laugh riot. They spent most of the drive singing along to cheesy pop songs at the top of their lungs. They were pretty sure the cows in the fields were judging them. At one point, Mr. Dark decided to take a nap. This was Mr. Black's chance. He carefully pulled over to the side of the road, then with a mischievous grin, he grabbed the whoopee cushion. He snuck it onto Mr. Dark's seat. This is going to be epic, he muttered to himself, barely able to contain his laughter. As soon as Mr. Dark shifted in his seat, the whoopee cushion let out a loud, obnoxious honk. Mr. Dark shot up like a rocket, yelling, What in the... He looked around wildly, his face a mixture of confusion and annoyance. Mr. Black was on the floor, clutching his stomach and howling with laughter. Section 4. Lost and found. Kind of. After Mr. Dark had calmed down and threatened to make Mr. Black walk home, they finally arrived at the edge of the woods where the cave was rumoured to be. Armed with their flashlights and the useless compass, they plunged into the unknown. Are you sure this is the right way? Because I think we just walked past this same spiderweb three times. Mr. Black, who was busy trying to decipher the strange markings on a tree, shrugged. Relax, we're just exploring. He totally made that up. He had absolutely no idea where they were going. They stumbled through the woods, tripping over roots and getting tangled in vines. They crossed a stream that was probably only six inches deep, but they managed to turn it into an epic water fight. Section 5, Disco Worms. Just when they were about to give up and head back to the car for more snacks, they saw it, a faint glow coming from a clearing up ahead. Could this be it? The legendary glowworm cave? This is it. Get ready for a light show. They crept towards the clearing, their hearts pounding with anticipation. As they got closer, the light got brighter and brighter, and then they saw it. The source of the dazzling light. It wasn't a cave full of glowworms, it was a disco ball. A giant, sparkling disco ball hanging from a tree. And under it, a family of raccoons was having a dance party. Mr. Black and Mr. Dark just stared at each other, completely speechless. Then they both burst into laughter. Section 6. The adventure continues. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. Me neither. But hey, at least we found something interesting. They decided to join the raccoons for a while, dancing under the disco ball like nobody was watching. Well, except for the raccoons, who were surprisingly good dancers, by the way. As the sun began to set, Mr. Black and Mr. Dark said goodbye to their new furry friends and headed back to the car. They might not have found the glowworm cave, but they had found something even better. A hilarious story to tell their friends back in Shadowville. And they knew that this was just the beginning of many more ridiculous adventures to come. After all, life was never boring with Mr. Black and Mr. Dark around.